What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today, we got a special video priority request from one of our patrons, Dragonfly. We're looking at Nemophila once again, and we're looking at the song Adabana. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Guys, every time we've checked out Nemophila, they have blown the roof off the place. If you want to support the channel, become a member right here on YouTube. Head on over to Patreon to become a member, or slide on over to buy me a coffee for a one-time donation. We appreciate all the love. It's never expected. Always appreciated. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, right, YouTube. I'm ready for this one. Once again, Dragonfly, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to us and allows us to create more content for you guys. I've right, got Nima Phila Adabana official music video. I ain't gonna lie, I'm amped for this one. We've been listening to some amazing singers lately, but I'm ready to rock. And I know they're gonna rock. All right. Let's go. Let's see it. No My bad. I gotta go back. I want to hear that drum feel again. My bad. It remind me a lot of uh, Mike Portnoy, my one of my favorite drummers. <laughs> my bad. All right, that was dope, man. They they're gonna get in on this. One. Man, I love this hook that's coming up, I guarantee it. Man, it's nice. I love the singers, don't get me wrong. But it is nice to hear some just straight metal rock. Just, I love it, man. And they bring it every single time, man. The singer, man, so versatile. Once again, with that screaming style and also those vocals. This hook she's about to hit, I can already tell. They always hit this, the chorus, man. Always got great hooks. And that drummer hit that little crossover lick. I like it. All right, let's roll. I love the way in this section too they're opening up. You can hear those open hats just kind of going and the guitar lays back and then it comes in, creating space. Such a great technical uh, composition tool. I love that. It creates space and then, you know, when it comes in and hits, it lifts it some. Man, that's one thing cool about this band is they're so technical and great, great players. 
uh, obviously, you know, that, that drum feel, I ain't even going to talk about the one she just hit. I mean, that was wild. And, and the guitar players, everybody's so good. But they they write such melodic songs, too, whether it be, uh, you know, from the guitar, vocally, whatever. It's so melodic, it's catchy. It's the first time I've ever heard this song, and I'm already catching a feel of what the hook in it, what the hook is. So, I mean, that's great songwriting one on one. All right, let's go back a little bit. So. Man, I love this right here. Straight half time, just like a little, man, just like a little drum. It's not a drum break, but it's like basically just a half time, just straight genty almost style, man. Love this. They're tough. <laughs> Dragonfly, you already knew I'd get hype on that. Man, love that. That syncopation, almost like a metric modulation she's pulling off. Then it showed that double bass in the heel. <laughs> Let's go. Man, she's a very, very tasteful drummer. I mean, like I said, they're not just technical. They are very, very tasteful. I love that, man. And I'm telling y'all, she reminds me so much of Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater. And I think somebody said, like, I don't know if she took lessons from him or she studied him growing up. Man, those feels are very, very Mike Portnoy-esque. So good. Let's see it again. I gotta go back, man. Hitting that tapping. This, ba I'm telling y'all, I love this band. I'm slowly becoming a huge fan of this band, man. Very, very just technical and so good about their note placement, man. Tone, technical, great melodic riffs, great singers, great instrumentalists. I mean, how can you not love them? Beast. All right, I gotta check out that guitar solo again. Let's go. Dang. I'm 
I'm telling y'all, I said this last time. I was like, that one might be my favorite. This one, you know, I'm going to say this is my favorite tune so far. I got to see the live version of this sucker. Uh, man, that was, you know, especially the drum break, you know, doing that, some of that, you know, syncopation, that like metric modulation stuff. So good. The solo coming over with the tapping. Unbelievable. Love the hook. Wow. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for joining me on that one. Unbelievably talented band, just technicians. That tune was through the roof, man. They rocked it. Loved every bit about it. Loved the break. Loved the metric modulation. So, so good. Guys, if you haven't had the chance, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when we release more content, you all get it. Thank you for the love and the support. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.